Kim, thank you very much. It was announced earlier this year that one of the country's biggest pharmaceutical companies is to base its headquarters in Cambridge. Today, AstraZeneca confirmed it's moving to a purpose-built site at the city's biomedical campus near Addenbrooke's. The company will be bringing its high-tech medical research and more than 1,500 workers. So what will this mean for the biomedical campus? Addenbrooke's hospital is on the same site and Dr Keith McNeil is the chief executive. He joins me now. What effect will this have on the work carried out there? Well, Susie, this is a phenomenal opportunity for us as a, as a health uh, organisation. The, we will be able to now align what we do clinically and what we do with our research uh, at the hospital on the campus with what one of the world's major pharmaceutical companies does in its laboratories. So we'll be able to take all the knowledge that they gleaned from those laboratories and translate or turn that knowledge into improved treatment outcomes for patients. So it is a big vote of confidence in the biomedical campus and you're talking about collaboration there. How vital is collaboration between the hospital, researchers and pharmaceutical companies? Well, it's, it, is, it is key to, to us taking forward the whole health agenda in terms of coming up with new treatments for patients because we can't, we can't do it by ourselves. So our great skill is providing really high class quality international best practice medical care and AstraZeneca's great strength is in being able to do that at the bench level. So bringing those two together means that we can take all of their knowledge and turn it into clinical reality. Drug that will work so well across that translational interface. AstraZeneca said today about the next generation of medicines being discovered in Britain. How excited are you by the progress that you've been seeing being made by researchers in Cambridge? Well, Cambridge, of course, has been famous for many years and uh, I've come here from a long way away to be part of this really exciting journey. Uh, the, the, the MRC Centre has 13 Nobel laureates associated with it. The quality of the research here is fantastic and our real challenge here now is, is as I say, is to take that research, that quality research, and turn it into better patient outcomes. Dr McNeil, thank you very much.